Okay guys, so I want to put out a quick little reaction video um, while everything is fresh in my head from the episode. Excuse me, my voice is going to be a little raspy right now. It's a little thrown out from acting tonight and, you know, this is the long week of, of the haunted house. So my voice is really scratchy right now and uh, struggling through. I got a cough drop in, so if I suck on it, my apologies. All right, so I got back from the haunt around 10.45ish, um, changed, put on the episode, watched it. And it's uh, 12.15 in the morning right now. So the episode just ended. And wow. So AMC went to a whole new level of gruesomeness that I thought they would never go to. I figured the shots of the kills from Negan would be, I don't know, not the way they did it. I mean, they were just, they threw all... PG-13 ratings right out the door, and um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but right before um, the segment where Abraham was hit and, uh, you know, basically killed right there, um, they put up a warning, and I, I don't remember AMC ever putting up a warning like that before in any other episode. Um, usually they do it before the episode starts, but this was the third segment in, so it was you know, the, the, the graphic violence before they started the episode. And then right after the commercial, they showed that warning one more time. And so I knew that's when everything was about to hit the fan right there. So am I surprised that it's Abraham and Glenn? No. I think that's kind of what most of us were all guessing. That's where a lot of us were all leaning just based on the stories of both of them. There was really nothing left for Abraham to do in the show. Um... I think Negan thought Abraham meant a little bit more to Rick than he really did. But yeah, I just kind of feel like his story was over. I kind of got that feeling back in season six when his little love triangle happened and he was, you know, basically switching bays. And uh, I kind of figured that was going to be the end for him. Um, you know, when it came down to the any, mini, miny, mo, I just felt like every time they do something like that, where they start a new love connection or something, someone in there is involved, and I just felt like Abraham's story was kind of just done. There was, there was really nothing left to tell for him or for him to do. As far as Glenn, I mean, that's, that's, that's the kill in the comic book. So I felt like, yeah, that's the one that's going to break everyone's heart. That's the one that's going to piss everyone off. But that's where the story goes in the comic book. So... That wasn't surprising. They tried to, to do their best to lead us in other directions, um, but I felt like that was coming. And with him, you know, being a new daddy um, and Maggie being pregnant, I felt like they were going to do it. I didn't want them to do it, but they did. Now, I'm wondering, are, are people going to be pissed off at Daryl now? Daryl's kind of been one of the favorites this whole, you know, seven seasons, and I'm wondering if his little antic of... of you know, jumping up and punching Negan is going to piss people off. You know, he, he obviously he got, you know, taken away with Negan. Um, and we'll see what happens with that. I feel like people are going to be pissed off at Daryl for, again, not being able to control his emotions when he needed to. But with at least now with the Daryl punch to Negan, um, that actually, I think that made Negan really respect Daryl and want him to really be one of him. I think he feels like Negan... Feels like Daryl can be extremely valuable to him as an asset um, with his new crew and, and being a right hand man, like he kept mentioning. But we saw those teaser pictures with Daryl's blanket, and everybody knew it was Daryl's blanket over there with the blood, but nobody knew how it got there. And that's kind of how I figured it was going to get there. I remember talking to my buddies about it at, at work, and I said, Watch, Daryl's going to get up and he's going to try to defend somebody, and then he's going to get his ass kicked. I didn't think he was going to killed. They, they, they kind of made that a little too obvious with the blanket and the blood. And it was just like, dude, they're not, AMC is not going to give out that big of a clue because everybody knows that Daryl had that blanket there and it was wrapped around him. So everybody knew, oh, oh my God, oh my God. I, I even put out a video saying, is Daryl dead? And that was really just to kind of capture attention. That wasn't me thinking Daryl was dead. That was just, you know, a headline on YouTube to try to grab people to come and watch it because... I really wanted to talk about this. I've been talking to a lot of people about this, um, and I wanted to talk to more people. So I wanted to get some insight and some some um, opinions from other people that I don't talk to on a regular basis every day. But anyways, yeah, I, I'm 
it's going to be rough to sleep tonight. I'm, I'm already amped up from the haunted house. I, I do got to be back at work in the morning uh, early, but um, I got to say, it really did give me an emotion, a change of emotion in my body that I felt in my back, my arms, my legs when um, when he just turned and got, got Glenn. Um, I mean, Abe, dude was a man, suck my nuts, really? Right, he's about to get, right as he just got pounded in the head, and those are basically his last words, suck my nuts. I feel like there's t-shirts gonna be coming out just for Abraham's, you know, memory, saying suck my nuts. That was pretty badass right there. <laughs> I haven't got a chance to re-watch Glenn's death yet, um, but man, what they did with his face and his eyeball popping out, that's just, that, that was absolutely gruesome and him just mumbling and bubbling and whatever he was trying to say. I got to go back and, and rewatch it and figure out what he said. I haven't looked on the internet anywhere. I really watched the episode, came over here and just started recording this on my phone, not even on my real camera, just on my phone, just to kind of get something out there while it's fresh in my mind. But man, that face on, on Glenn, I don't think anybody will ever forget. That was horrific. That was brutal. Um, wow. I mean, I, I just, I don't know what else to say. It's just, wow. They, now, now we know why Maggie broke down crying, um, at the New York Comic Con, like a week and a half ago, and Glenn comforted her. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Glenn has his own TV show coming out too, so that's another thing that made me feel like Glenn was going to be one of the guys after all, because how's he going to do both shows? You know, it's just tough, and he's also been filming somewhere else. And it was just, it was just a lot of things pointed to Glenn the whole time. And I just really feel like Abraham kind of didn't have anything left to tell. So, you know, it wasn't going to be one of the other guys that are kind of um, not a threat. I knew it was going to be somebody that was going to be a threat to Negan. That's why he went after Big Red. And um, Glenn, I think he just knew that uh, he meant a lot to Rick. He was really Rick's right-hand man, more so than Daryl is. But the level of gruesomeness just really... Wow, I, I that was crazy. That really was crazy. It's just gonna be in my mind. Glenn's face, I'll never forget seeing that face. That was just incredible to watch and just like heartbreaking. Um, but we move on, you know, we move on, and there's going to be, I think, a lot of things to come now from this episode. They set up a whole lot coming forward, so um. With Negan letting them all go, um, and now, you know, I mean, they're going to want to fight him eventually, obviously. They're not going to sit there and be, you know, under the ownership of Negan forever, but this episode truly set up a ton. And when the kingdom comes, it's going to get crazy, guys. So leave some comments down there. Let's talk about this. Let's, um, let's do a follow-up video in a couple days after some comments come. And um, let's just talk about this and, and your thoughts and, and let me know. Uh, what you guys are feeling and what you guys think are, is coming in the future. Um, I didn't watch The Talking Dead yet. I'm going to try to watch that tomorrow to see what they talked about. But, uh, yeah, lots of craziness to come. I think Season 7 is going to be out of control. I'm excited. And AMC, damn you guys for leaving us on the hook for that long and teasing us and giving us some brutal kills and, I don't know, it's just, sorry, it's late, no voice. Lots of things going on my mind about this episode, and uh, just figured I want to put something out there. So let's talk about this, guys. All right, leave some comments, and let's talk about it later.